Hey everyone, Kathy the Vegan Prepper here, and today I'm going to be cooking up some whole hard red wheat berries as the grain to go with our lunch. So I thought I'd bring you along. Do 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 vegan prepper. Do 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 vegan prepper. Okay, so another really great thing about wheat berries is the shelf life. If they're stored correctly, they can last anywhere from 20 to 30 years on your shelf, as opposed to a brown rice, which won't last much longer than one or two years. So this is a really great thing to have on hand for long-term storage. It's extremely versatile. As I said before, if you can grind it up, you can make breads out of it, you can um, sprout it, you can do all kinds of amazing things with it, and apparently you can cook it as its own whole grain self, and so that's what we're gonna do today. I'm going to be cooking this up in my Instant Pot, and so for that, it's going to take 30 to 35 minutes in the Instant Pot, not including the rising up to pressure and then the coming down from pressure, but it will have a three to one water to grain ratio. So this is three cups of wheat berries, and that means I'm going to need to use nine cups of water in the Instant Pot. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these all rinsed up, get them in there and get them going. And then we're gonna see how do they turn out. Okay, I'm so curious to see what this looks like. Oh gosh. Huh, I didn't expect there to be extra water. I wonder why there's extra water. Okay, so this is really interesting. I've never had a cooked grain um, with extra water left in the Instant Pot. Um, I followed the chart out of my vegan Instant Pot cookbook um, by Nisha Vora. And um, yeah, I've, I've never had this before. But anyway, I guess I'll go ahead and get some of this drained and we'll go ahead and do a taste test. Um, first reaction is it's super cute. I don't know, it's like cute and round. It actually is reminding me quite a lot of barley. So let's go ahead and get that drained and give it a taste test. Okay, so here is a shot of the drained wheat berries. I'm gonna go ahead and give those a taste. Okay, so I pulled Mr. Vegan Prepper over here to come do the taste test with me. Um, so it's really interesting. It has a very sweet smell. It really does remind me of barley. Yeah. Doesn't it smell sweet? Okay. It's weird. Like So anyway, all right, here, I'm gonna try a little bit. And there's no flavoring or anything. This is mainly like a texture, yeah. texture and experience taste test mmm mmm yeah it definitely reminds me of barley it's like a very chewy it's got a lot of good um, good bite to it Yeah. It reminds me of something. I don't know if it's barley, but yeah. yeah I like it. Mm hmm. I like it too. I don't know that it's necessarily going to be like a replacement for rice, but. No, but. It is really good. It's like its own thing. It's really good. But yeah. yeah it would be good in a soup. It would be really good in a soup. Yeah. So I guess the closest thing. That I can say it reminds me of is barley. So. It's like barley that it hasn't like broken open. Oh yeah, because well, okay. I guess I should specify that I'm. I mean, pearl barley, because we eat barley that's pearl barley, so it has had the outer husk removed. Okay. So, um, 
yeah, maybe that's more what, what regular barley tastes like. But yeah, it's actually just really delicious. So now I, I can't wait to make myself a little little lunch out of this. I'm gonna do like a, I'm gonna add veggies to it and just sort of make like a little grain salad for lunch, so. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. good. All right, cool, awesome. So I guess it's a success. So that's another way that we can use the wheat berries that are in our stash, which is really good news because we have a ton of wheat berries in our stash, <laughs> like a ton. Mm -hmm. So many, um, but yeah, I'd also, I think that hard, wet, hard red wheat berries, well, gosh, at least when I bought them, I don't know if the prices really increased. We get them through Azure Standard and typically it's about $32 for a 50 pound bag. I'll put on the screen what the current price is as of January of 2021 or 2022. Um, so yeah, it's, it's also an extremely cost effective way to stock up i, I think because yeah. like people are not after this quite as much they're after other things and so that's like another thing that I, I like to stock up on stuff that not everybody is going after because until they see this video well until yeah i don't know it's just you know it's like but it, we being vegan actually really helps a lot with that and everybody's freaking out about how they're gonna get milk and eggs and meat and stuff and it's like i'm fine we don't need any of that so anyway beans and rice beans and rice for real. Um, so yeah, that was great. So hopefully you enjoyed that. I can't wait to go ahead and get to eating. And yeah, so as always, I hope the rest of your day is good and your life stays wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me today. See you guys later. Bye. Bye. Okay, and here's lunch. Can't wait to tuck into this. Okay, so a really great thing about wheat berries in specific, in, in specific, in